Hey everyone, and welcome to Recraft Fundamentals. In today's session, we've got something really exciting to share. We designed this entire beauty campaign inside Recraft. And what makes it special is that these images can work in two ways, as polished final visuals ready for launch or as creative concepts and references for a client. And today, we're going to walk you through step-by-step step exactly how we made it happen. Okay, let's kick things off with the brief. We're imagining a beauty brand called Sanctum, and this brand is anything but ordinary. It's bold, futuristic, and all about self-expression. Something that feels like art and instantly grabs attention. Our goal here is to design campaign visuals that reflect this identity. And to really put Recraft to the test, we'll also explore a direction for the logo. Step one, the logo. Head over to Vector Logo and choose Vintage Decorative Logo. Type in a simple prompt. Logo for cosmetics brand Sanctum and click generate. Here's the result. It looks nice, but it feels a little too detailed. So let's clean it up. Click edit area, grab the brush and remove the extra ornaments. Much better. Now hit remove background and we'll keep this version for later. Step two, setting the look of the campaign. Instead of using built-in styles, we're going to create our own. Upload one reference image that really captures the mood of the brief. We pick this one. In prompt engineering, add a simple note, glossy skin. That way, all our visuals will stay consistent with that polished, luminous look. Generate a quick test image, save the style, and call it Spectrum, or name it however you like. Step three, campaign portraits. With the Spectrum style, try out a few different prompts to explore the range. Here are some examples. Pick the one that best fits the story you want to tell. Step four, a horizontal version. Select your image, extend it to your target aspect ratio, and just generate without typing a new prompt. Here's the result, a perfect wide layout for campaign use. Step five, let's add the mascara. Pin the image, click the paperclip icon, and choose the Nana Banana model. Now type a short edit prompt. Add a sleek metallic silver mascara tube held vertically near the model's eye, just posing with the product, not applying. Generate. And here's what we get. Step six, mock it up. Click mock up eyes, bring in the Sanctum logo we made earlier, and drop it into the composition. Adjust the size and placement and now it feels like a real campaign asset. And from here, it's really about your own creativity. Let's take a quick walk through the rest of our project. For example, here's one image we created, and here's the one it came from originally. First, we wrote a prompt and generated this image in our custom style. It turned out great, and we knew we wanted to use it further. If you already have a ready-made product image that you'd like to add here, you can do that. But since we didn't, we used Nana Banana to add a lip gloss instead. Next, let's say you want to experiment even more. You can also use Nana Banana with a prompt like her reflection in a silver fish eye mirror or something simpler like change background to metal glossy. We just removed the background and this is the kind of visual element we ended up with. What we're showing you is the principle. You can experiment however you want, mixing models, products, backgrounds, and more. The same goes for this series of images. Here, we first generated a picture with a prompt in our style, and then we used Sea Dream, which is also available in Recraft, to replace the mascara. In the end, we got campaign-ready visuals that feel strong, consistent, and on brand. If you haven't tried Recraft yet for processing client briefs, give it a go and make sure to share your results. And don't forget to subscribe if this was helpful.